All right, this is section 3.4. We're going to be dealing with exponential logarithmic equations and trying to solve them. So we're going to be using the rules that we've been going through before. Uh, first of all, this one here, this is just a one-on-one -on -one property. Bases are the same. Then you can just set the exponents equal to each other. Same thing with the logs. As long as the bases are the same, x is equal to y. We also have composition of functions composition of inverse functions, you just end up with x, you end up with x. These are also composition of uh, inverse functions as well, and you just end up with x. So if we want to solve these things, a uh, couple, couple ways to do this is that if you have a variable that's in the exponent, then you have to use logarithms to solve it. And you can use logarithms by either writing in logarithmic form, or you can take the log of both sides and sort it out that way. Um, so if I take this one here, I can write this in logarithmic, logarithmic form. So I have the log, and we have the base 3 of 48 is equal to x. If you do a change of base, then we just have log of 48 over log of 3. I'm not going to do the approximate answers. I'm going to trust that you can do that on your calculator. I'll go back and see if I can put all these approximate answers in, but I'm going to trust that you can do that. That's one way to do it. The other way to do it is to take the log of both sides. So if I do that method, I can use a different color here. If I do that method, if I start off with my 3 to the x is equal to 48. And I take the log of both sides. Could be uh, base 10, could be ln, doesn't matter. But I'm going to sneak in here now, uh, ln, I'm going to use ln, ln of 3 to the x and ln of 48. So I took the log of both sides. And if you remember the plug rule, this exponent now can come down in front. So this would be x ln 3 is equal to ln 48. And if you do some simple algebra here, uh, divide both sides by ln 3, you're going to get x is equal to ln 48 divided by ln 3. You can put both those into your calculator, the one in red, the one in green, you'll get the same exact answer. It doesn't matter if you use ln for both of them or the log. So change of base works or take the log of both sides. Log of both sides will become more useful later on. We go back to red here. Solve these things. This kind of looks like this rule right here. Just get our balance. So I got ln x is equal to ln 5. So x is equal to 5. Final answer. And if we have this one, we can get the bases are the same. So if I take this, this would be 2 to the negative 2 to the x is equal to 64. Now 64 is 2 to the 6. So what I'm trying to do is get both bases to be both 2. And so this one would be 2 to the negative 2x. Power to a power, you can these numbers are next to each other, so you can just multiply them, is equal to 2 to the 6. Negative 2x is equal to 6, so x is equal to negative 3. Some of you can just look at that and maybe brain that. I'm not sure because 4 to the third is 64. But then you end up with negative 3 for the answer here e to the x is equal to 47. Well, you can take the log of both sides, or you can rewrite it in log form. But in this case, since the base is e, you probably don't want to use regular log with base 10. And so if I rewrite this, this would be ln of 47 is equal to x. Remember, logarithm is the exponent. Type that in your calculator, get it to three decimal places and you'll be fine with that one. Uh, the next one, it's in log form, and you want to solve for it, and so maybe you want to take this and put it in exponential form. Maybe that will help sort it out. So it's the log of x, and remember that this is implied to be base e, so it's e to the negative 4 is equal to x. So x is equal to 1 over e to the fourth. Once again, you can put that in your calculator if you need to get an approximate value. So log form, turn it into exponential form, might be able to solve it like that. Uh, the other way you could have done this is put a base E, base E, as long as there's no plus signs here. Well, if there are plus signs, you can do it as well, but it's a little bit trickier. 
EE, so this would be the ELN one, where it cancels, so X is equal to the E to the negative 4, same thing. Uh, this one we can just rewrite. X is equal to 5 to the negative 6. This one might be more obvious than this one, just because the base isn't written here for that, but they're pretty much the same type of problem. So X is equal to 1 over 5 to the 6. Yes, multiply that out and solve that out. Bases are the same here, so exponents are the same. So you can solve this. X is equal to uh, 4X, and this would be minus 2. And then this would be negative 3X equals negative 2, so X is equal to 2 thirds. They're solving for X. This one, uh, number 8, is a little bit different just because you have this uh, leading um, multi multiple on 3 to the X. And so when, with this 5, it's just a lot like solving uh, if I had 5X is equal to 27. Get rid of that 5 first. And I can do that same thing here. And I said it, and I did it wrong. But this would be divided by 5 and divided by 5. So then 3 to the x is equal to 27 over 5. And then if I uh, rewrite this in log form or take the log of both sides, uh, this would be log of, I'm just going to take the log of both sides. So it's ln ln. The x comes out in front, so x ln 3 is equal to ln 27 divided by 5. Now I can divide both sides by ln 3. So my final answer here is ln 27 fifths all over ln 3. Once again, you can get a decimal approximation for that. You could split this one up. It is the log of a quotient, and so you could make it ln 27 minus ln 5, but it's that whole quantity divided by ln 3. That would not change, but you could just leave it like this and then get decimal approximation. Uh, number 9. This one, get e to the x by itself. 19 from 108. That's going to challenge me here a little bit, and so then that would be... That would be 89. So with this now, since the base is E, instead of using a log with base 10, we're going to use log base E. Uh, let's take the ln of both sides. This spells line, and when it spells line, you can just draw a line through it. So X is equal to ln of 89. There you go. Uh, this one gets a little bit tri trickier. If you can think about this, this kind of looks like a quadratic. And in fact, it, it is a quadratic. If I have e to the x times e to the x, that is going to be basically the same. So you're going to add exponents. That's going to be e to the x plus x, which is e to the 2x. That's what my leading term is here. There I have just one e to the x and then a constant term. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to factor this and then and get um, look at seeing what happens to each factor. So I'm going to take factors of e to the 2x, get e to the x, e to the x. Factors of 2 that work here, it's got to be minus 2, minus 1. So either this factor or this factor have to equal 0. So then I'm going to get e to the x is equal to 2, e to the x is equal to 1. And then this one, I just take the ln on both sides. And so this would be x is equal to ln 2. And this one would be x is equal to ln 1. And I'm wondering, can you simplify this? Do you remember what this one is? This would be e to what power gives you 1? Well, that would be 0. x is equal to 0 would be the other way to write that. So you have two answers. Here's one. Here's the other. All right, this one here, I'm going to rewrite this in exponential form. So this would be e to the point 1 is equal to x. You can do that on your calculator. 
And with e to the point 0.1, you get 1.105. So that one could be an approximation that we could have. 1.105. Uh, now, this one gets a little trickier for number 12, but you just have to remember your rules from last section and try to put this together. If you had the log of a quotient, it was equal to the difference. Well, I'm given the difference, so I want to put this side together. And in order to use this one-to-one -one property, in order to use this one-to-one -one property that we have up here, I need to make sure that I get the logarithms equal to each other. So it's log is equal to log, and this is the one I'm looking at right here. So I want this, uh, I want to use this formula right there. And if I look at my problem again, I don't have that. You cannot just divide everything by log. That is not a property that we can deal with. That is the most common mistake. Don't divide everything by log. I got to get log equal to log. Right now I got two of them on this side here. So I'm going to use my rules. If I have this situation, I'm just going to turn it into a quotient. The difference of logs is equal to the log of a quotient. Now, since I have this balance, I can go ahead and say that this piece is equal to this piece. But if it's over a sum or a difference, you cannot just cancel out logs. That would be bad. So here we go. 3x plus 1 over 5 is equal to 2x. Uh, we can make this 10x. So 3x plus 1 is equal to 10x. Negative 7x is equal to 1. And so x is equal to negative 1 seventh. And what you should do is go back and make sure that your answer works. Because if I plug this in, now if we look at this answer that we got, negative 1 seventh, let's go back and plug it in. Okay, here it's okay. We'll still end up with a, a positive value. Uh, here we don't plug it in. Here we plug it in, though, and look at what happens. 2 times negative 1 seventh is a negative number. So this actually turns out to be no solution because I cannot take the log of a negative number. Remember, logs are only defined for positive x's. Can't even get 0. And so we get no solution on that one. Uh, this one approximate to three decimal places. Uh, this is just like algebra. So you just take this 5 ln x is equal to 4. So I subtracted 6. And then I divide. So ln x is equal to 4 fifths. And I get e to the 4 fifths is equal to x. My base is e raised to the exponent. Logarithm is the exponent. There it is. So e to the 4 fifths. And if I go to my calculator and find out what that is, second, um, e to the 4 divided by 5. I got that 8 in there. I don't know what. e to the 4.5, 2.225. And so if we go back to our notes here, 2.225 is equal to x. A little bit less than 2.72, which is the approximate value of e. Uh, if we look at the next one, once again, this doesn't have log equal log. So what we want to do is try to combine this one side into one log. Since it's a sum, I'm going to use the sum rule of logs, which turns into a product, is equal to 2. Now, I don't have log equal to log, so my only option is to rewrite this as an exponent. So my base here is 10. 10 to the second is going to give me 5x uh, times x minus 1, the quantity of that. So this is 5x, x minus 1 is equal to 10 squared. 
And if we solve this out, 5x squared minus 5x is equal to 100, so it's minus 100.